All right, guys, so the title of this video is Why I Sold My Frederic Constant. And let's jump right on into it. So, I hope you like that new intro. I've been cooking it up in my, in my melon for some time now. And if you're saying, wow, this person is really weird, I am pretty weird. So, watch out. Uh, this is taking a weird turn. Anyway, we're talking about why I sold my Frederic Constant. Um, this was a gold tone piece, and that's kind of what got on my nerves, to be honest. Um, I'm at a point in my life where I pretty much wear t-shirts and shorts uh, pretty consistently, at, at least through the summer. Um, and then, you know, in the winter, I just bundle up and basically look like... Um, uh, like a, a, a warm bundle of unsophisticated human. It's not a very good analogy. As a dress watch, uh, the Frederic Constant doesn't really fit uh, my lifestyle. Uh, it can't really be dressed down. Gold is uh, very blingy and very in your face. So, you know, if somebody's wearing a, a gold watch and shorts and a t-shirt, you know, I don't know, it, it just seems out of place for me. It seems like I would have to dress up to wear the watch. And I actually did on a few occasions. Um, I, I had to dress up uh, just to wear the watch. Um, so it, it doesn't really make sense for me because I don't really dress up. There, you know, I'm not, I'm not working. Um, I'm actually just about to go back to school and we're gonna talk about that a little bit later in the video. Um, but, you know, there's no real scenario for me where I have to be formally dressed. I didn't really feel good about the gold tone. Uh, you know, if you're going into an inter interview or if you're getting dressed up, you know, you're, you're trying to, I don't know, show, show yourself off or, you know, at least the clothes should make you feel a little bit better, you know, boost your confidence a little bit so you're ready to tackle whatever's coming your way. And with a fake gold watch, I just didn't really feel um, that, that baller mentality come on to me. You know, like, ooh, I'm wearing a gold watch. Like, I'm immediately a baller. I'm a member of high society. I'm ready to wheel and deal. Let's go make a million dollars. Um, when I wore the Frederic Constant, I didn't feel like that. Uh, it it kind of, it felt like I was pretending. Uh, and I don't, I don't really like to pretend. That's why I've shot this vlog probably at least 20 times at this point. I think my Frederic Constant slimline was trying to look more like a, a Patek Philippe or a, a Jaeger Lacoutre. I hope I said that right. Um, and, and for that reason, it kind of turned me off because the watch was only around, you know, $600. And some of you are going to say, only $600, oh my god. Um, but in the watch world, that's not that expensive. Uh, whereas a Patek Philippe or a Jaeger Lacoutre, you know, a Jaeger is like, well, maybe 4,000 used and then like 6,000 new for their lower end models. So in that, in that scheme of things, $600 isn't very much. Um, you know, so I, I just felt like the watch was trying to be something it's not, and by wearing it, I was kind of endorsing that, and I was trying to pass myself off as something that I'm not. I, I, I'm 20 years old, um, I'm going to college, you know. Uh, I, I don't come from a very, very wealthy family. I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't have the money 
for, you know, to wear a solid gold watch. So me kind of wearing that gold watch out in, in public and um, out and about is kind of putting on a persona of a fake wealth. And I didn't really like that. So I sold the watch. Um, if you're looking at a Frederic Constant and it's stainless steel, not gold tone, not rose tone, um, I would say if it's at the right price and you know what you're getting, you can purchase it. I, you know, I, I think they're good watches. I think they're solidly built. I think they're very solidly built. I just didn't like that this watch was trying to pass itself off for something that it wasn't. What am I going to use the money for? I have all of this money. I have about $600. Probably buy either one kind of more expensive piece. I'm, I'm, try, I'm, I'm thinking about purchasing a, a SIN 556i, or I may purchase a few cheaper pieces so I can have content to create for the channel, do a lot of watch reviews. Um, and then also, <laughs> talking kind of about the direction of the channel, um, we've grown considerably. Uh, you know, I think two weeks ago we were at like five subscribers or seven subscribers, and now I think we're up to 42, which is amazing. And guys, I really appreciate the support. I, I really do. It's um, beyond my wildest dreams that the, the channel has grown as, as well as it has. And I'm really hopeful that, you know, we'll keep going. So the $600 will probably pay for an extra monitor for my desktop computer that's back in Boston uh, so I can do video editing. It'll probably pay for a better mic so I don't have to use this thing. <laughs> and you guys can have better audio quality. Uh, and then it'll go to the, to the watch fund or to um, more watches. So I'm, I'm really, really excited for what we have coming with this channel, and I'm really excited to grow with you and kind of start our community on YouTube. And if you want to see more videos, uh, you should subscribe. We have vlogs coming out every Monday. We have Watch Talk Wednesdays, uh, every Wednesday, obviously. And then we're either going to have comparison videos or watch reviews every Friday. And that schedule is going to keep going while I am in school, which is kind of crazy. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.